So here Demi's question in the forum is, if you have a super high videotape and you captured it in Premiere Pro, did all the editing, then you lost your file and you need to capture it again. So you have a new file, but the start time of this file is not exactly the same as in the original. Can you replace the footage and offset the in points of all clips in your sequence uh, to get back the original edit, the old one. And maybe this is some issue other people will also run into that you have an edit and you want to shift the in point of all footage items uh, by a certain amount. And for this, I just created an automation blocks tool. So you'll find it in my answer to this post. You can download uh, the tool, the automation blocks tool, or also I will store it in our community library of automation blocks in clips time and it's named offset in point of all selected clips. So if you start automation blocks the first time, uh, you can also use a free trial version for this. Just go to load and then choose the file offset in points of all selected clips, which you find attached to my answer to your post or also in our community library. And then it works as follows. Let's say we've got here uh, an edit with some clips and let's say you noticed, oh, this particular clip here, let me go to the very beginning of this clip and I double click on it to update my source viewer. And you can see from the original footage, it starts at nine seconds and 20 frames. And let's say you want to change this, that here you want at the very beginning to actually see this, let's say, um, the frame nine seconds and five frames. This is what you actually want. So you want to move all your sources uh, effectively or the range that is visible. You want to move it 15 frames to the side. In, inside, instead of nine seconds, five, uh, 20 frames, you want nine seconds, five frames. Yeah. So what you can do, you select this tool that I just made for you and enter here minus 15 to go 15 frames to the left effectively. And now you can, if you want to have the same change in all your clips, just select all of them. Make sure to also select the audio if you have some and want to offset this too. And you run the tool. And please note when I do this, what happens with the marker here and what happens with, with this range. So I run the tool and you can see that the markers moved over, which show you that the actual footage moved over. Yeah. And also you can see that the range here, so if I double click here again, the range of the clip that is now visible starts at 9.15. So we moved over the source range that is visible by 15 frames. And you can use positive numbers to move in the other direction again. Yeah? So if we say here plus 15, and now let's say we just keep this clip selected if we only want to correct this one. So currently it starts at nine seconds and five frames. If we run it again, you can see that this range moved over. And if I double click here again to update the current time, yeah, the current time is now at 9.20. At 9.20, this clip starts now again. So this is a nice, nice little helper tool to do exactly this. Just move the in points. Here you've got some documentation. The source code, the block code of this tool is actually super easy. It first reads the offset in seconds from this input. So here it reads this input and multiplies it with the dura frame duration of the sequence to convert the frames here into seconds. And it, then it says for each selected clip of the active sequence, set the attribute in point of the clip to the original in point that it had before plus some offset. This is how this is working. Yeah. Here, read the offset in seconds, do, do some conversion to convert the 15 frames here into a duration in seconds because this is what is needed here. And then just go over all clips, take the original in point and move it over by this amount. Super easy. Okay, I hope this is helpful to solve your issue. And note that this is just one of many things you can do with automation blocks. So automation blocks comes with a big library here of ready to use tools for all kinds of things. Uh, and you have this ability to create custom tools, which I did in this case. So I'm Matthias and I'm looking forward to see you in the next tutorial.